Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're making a kind of sad video. Um, we are going to be selling the Mustang GT. So I've had this car for about a year and a half now. I've loved every second of it, but now that I have two cars, um, it's kind of impractical for me to have two cars. And there's other things that I'm trying to save up for. I will be getting rid of the Mustang. So I'm gonna kind of quickly go over all the modifications that are done to it because I'd really like for one of you guys to have the chance to buy it. Um, if not, uh, I'm gonna wait a week after this video is posted. If I get nobody that offers what I'm asking for it, then I'll just sell it to my dealership. And again, if you're interested, then you can buy it from the dealership, from me, of course. But anyway, let's go ahead and start here in the front. No modifications on the front end here. Everything is completely stock. It does have SR Performance lowering springs on there. So I have the fitment sitting just right, or at least in my opinion, it's sitting just right. These Belgian VF5 wheels will be included in the sale price. The wheels and tires costed me $4,000. They're still in perfect condition. The tires only have like, uh, I'll have to double check, but I think they only have like 10,000 miles on them. Pilot Sport 4S, best tires you can get. And these Belgian VF5s are lightweight wheels. They're 20 inches, 20 by 10 in the front, 20 by 11 in the rear, 275, 35, 20 in the front, and 305, 35, 20 in the rear. It does have a professional paint correction and ceramic coating on the paint. So the paint is in very good condition and the water just completely beads off of the paint, which is really nice. Looking at the rear here, the only thing I did was upgrade the spoiler. The stock spoiler will be included for anyone who purchases the car. If you want the stock one, if not, I'll just throw it away. In the back here, we have our Borla exhaust. This was a very expensive modification for me, but it's definitely well worth it because it sounds amazing. I do have videos on that if you guys are interested in seeing what it sounds like. But Borla exhaust is retail for $2,000. Um, on the Borla website and $1,800 on American Muscle. So it's a super expensive exhaust system. Again, will be included in the sale price of the car. This is Rapid Red Metallic, all new color for 2020 and newer. It's a beautiful color. Like I said, it is in really good shape. Let's go ahead and check out under the hood, or actually since we're back here, let me show you one of the modifications I did. You can see how the trunk went up by itself. So I did get these, uh, hood props here, or excuse me, um, trunk props. So you just press the button and the trunk will open, but it is a little bit harder to close it, but just gotta give it a little bit of a slam there. Let's go ahead and look under the hood here, and then we'll check out the inside as well. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this in a parking garage, it's super windy outside, so I'm hoping that there's not gonna be a bunch of wind noise on the camera. All right, if you guys can see there, just opened up obviously it's super dusty i'll clean it out for whoever ends up buying it um the inside is perfectly clean it's just the outside that needs to be cleaned and then this needs to be dusted but um five liter v8 obviously 460 horsepower 420 pound feet of torque um 10 speed auto for this one i do have hood struts from redline tuning that'll be included as well so you don't have to worry about that stupid prop rod i do still have it here just in case they fail and just because I don't want to have that laying around, so I still have it there. But it does have hood struts, so the hood will stay up like that. Just changed the oil like 2,000 miles, or like 1,500 miles ago at 21,000 miles. So it has a fresh oil change of 530, full synthetic. I've changed the oil every like five to 7,000 miles, or five to 8,000-ish. Stock air box with a K&N air filter that I just cleaned not too long ago. So everything under here is completely stock. Um, the only thing I did was the sound tube delete kit, so that's why I don't have all that nonsense uh, sound tube thing right here. So I do have a little plug back there. So I did that. It's a pretty cool modification. Everything else in here is completely stock Coyote. The engine cover will be included for anyone who wants the engine cover because I still have it. I just like the look without the engine cover. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. By the way, this is a base model. Interior is in perfect shape. It literally looks just like brand new. I'm very particular when it comes to taking care of my car, especially the inside and everything, so it's perfectly clean. Literally everything is perfect. The seats look perfect. Only a tiny little like wrinkle kinda right there, but everything is perfect on the inside. The steering wheel is in perfect shape, no signs of wear. Um, and then I did upgrade the pedals down here. So we have the aluminum pedals and an aluminum dead pedal as well. Let's go ahead and hop in here. I do have power seats. Let me go ahead and start it up. Ooh, the 
it sounds really good. All right, so I did upgrade to Sync 3. I did a full OEM upgrade kit. It's not one of those knockoff aftermarket ones that look like garbage. This is a 100% OEM sync screen that works 100% like the factory would. Cause this one came with a little calculator screen. So I upgraded that. Drive modes worked just like normal. And the drag strip mode works as uh, it's supposed to. So the drive modes are completely functional. Um, steering feel obviously, all that stuff. You have all those options there. It does show dual zone climate control, but it is single zone. So only the driver side is the one that's functional because this one doesn't have the extra hardware for the dual zone. So that's why it just has the driver side, but it looks like dual zone. So <laughs> it's kind of funny there, but that's all completely stock, all completely normal OEM parts. I did upgrade all the interior lights to diode dynamics. So they're extremely bright. This is the stage two diode dynamics. So this is the brighter kit. You can see it really does a good job of lighting up the inside there. And then I also did the glove box light, full LED as well. The inside is very comfortable. The cloth seats, like I said, it is a base model, but I mean, the main reason why people don't like the base model is because of the small screen and I already upgraded that. I also did the diode dynamics on the visors there. Let's go ahead and give it a few revs while we're in this parking garage so you guys can hear the Borla. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss that. All right guys, now for the big question. How much am I asking for the car? So I'm gonna ask $36,000 for this. 36,000 and everything is completely included. Obviously I'm taking a huge loss because, um, you know, when you buy a new car and you sell it, you know, two years later, you're gonna get a huge loss, especially if you do upgrades like this because you're never gonna get your money back for the upgrades. And I feel like that is extremely fair. I looked online to see what people were selling them for and what they're selling for retail at a dealership. And to get one private sale, don't worry about any sort of dealership fees or anything like that. And I'm very firm on the price because I'm pricing it accordingly. I'm not gonna um, say I want 40,000 for it just to negotiate to 36, because I don't do that. So 36,000 is the price. If you want it, great. You have a week to buy it. If not, I'm gonna sell it to my dealership and take off the wheels and tires and sell these separately. So let me know if you guys are interested in the car and also let me know if you guys are interested in the wheels and tires. Uh, if someone does decide to purchase this car, um, I will include you in a YouTube video if you're okay with that. Uh, Cause it'll be kind of interesting to see who like the new owner is and everything like that. And I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you guys are in Arizona or California and you're okay with making the drive or whatever, then uh, yeah, hit me up on Instagram. All my information will be in the description below and uh, hopefully it goes to a great home. It's definitely been really good for me. All right guys, one last thing I forgot to mention. Mileage is 22,593. I'm driving home right now, so obviously it'll be a little bit more, but basically 22,600 miles. I'm also gonna include an ad online um, showing all this stuff so you guys can read an ad if you want to. And uh, I'll include some pictures and everything. And yeah, reach out to me on the ad or reach out to me on Instagram and hopefully we can set something up. If you guys enjoyed this sad video, please go to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.